Now come onto your back for the closing stretches. If you've got very tight hamstrings, it's a good idea to often use a prop like a towel or a scarf or use a specific yoga strap, which we use a lot to give yourself a little prop so that you get the legs lengthened without reaching the arms up your thighs. Okay, so if you've got loose hamstrings, you can also use your arms as Lizzie will demonstrate. Okay, so first of all, neutral posture, hook the strap around your right foot, placing it on the long arch of the, of the foot, halfway between the ball and heel. Take both hands on the strap, in a bent knee position, neutral, making sure the opposite knee doesn't splay out to the side. Breathe in, and then exhale, contract your abdominals and straighten the leg upward, grounding the opposite foot, feeling a gentle support between the ribs and pelvis. So the lower back here shouldn't be hammered into the ground. It should be gently resting with frontal abdomen support. Keep your backside down on the ground. Breathe in, exhale, pull the leg up a little bit more towards your waist, keeping it straight. Press the heel in the direction that it's facing. You want to keep that heel pressing up nice and long. Breathe in, hold the right leg in position. Exhale, slide your left heel into a straight position along the ground. Reaching it out, focus on keeping the abdomen flat. So now we've got a hip stretch at the top of the left hip, as well as a hamstring stretch on the right. Breathe in, and press both feet in the direction that they're facing. Great, now bring your left arm out to the side. Keep your right hand on the strap, breathe in and exhale and gently guide the right leg out to the side, keeping even in both hips. Bend the knee if you get very tight in those hamstrings, but keep the adductors lengthening from the inside of the hip joint. Keep a small turnout on the hip as well. Take the biceps into a position where they support you, so you've turned the palm outward. Great. Hold that for three breaths and contract the abdominals and feel that the left hip really presses downward to keep the balance here. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale to stretch the hamstrings again, lengthening up. Take the left hand onto the strap, bring the right arm out to the side. Okay, take a wide in breath. And now gently guide the right leg across the line of the left, but don't tip the waist. Small movement, point the toes to lengthen the ankle joint into the strap. Try and keep the hip, knee and ankle all in line with each other. So you haven't rotated inward from the femur head. Okay, so it's getting everything nice and aligned. Neutral pelvis again. Take three breaths into this stretch. It can be quite intense, especially for guys, very tight IT bands here. Connective tissue that plays havoc with the lower back if it's left unattended. Right now, take an in-breath, exhale, bring it back to center. Bend the knee down. Okay, now we're gonna do the opposite leg. So bend both knees into the start position. Okay, take the strap into the opposite foot. So it's halfway between the ball and heel. Keep the ankles balanced. Bent knee position, remember to begin, big toe joints down. Breathe in, exhale, stretch the leg upward and out. as where it wants to go, but try not to be competitive with this stretch. This is all about keeping the pelvis down on the ground, nice and balanced, abdomen supported. These stretches are not about getting your leg behind your head, it's all about keeping good postural control all the way through. Breathe into that stretch. Great, now take an in-breath and exhale, extend the right leg along the ground as the left leg ma maintains its position. Try to keep the abdomen strong, lengthening out so you can press the toes out. Breathe in and press the heels now in the direction that they're facing. So you're getting nice elongation, feeling like you're pulling the kneecap up on the straight leg plenty of activity through the supportive abdominals. Keep the wide arch of your foot balanced here so that the ankle joint is even. Not pronating or supinating. So supination turns out, pronation turns in. Okay, take the right arm out to the side now. Press the palm down, take an in-breath. 
and keep the balance in your pelvis, draw the left leg out to the side. We can bend the knee, remember, turn the palm out, keep the balance in your waist. Plenty of energy through the right leg here. Hips even, nice and square. Breathe into this stretch. Feel that your hips are opening, but gently from a very stable base. Okay, breathe in, exhale, bring it back to center. Bring your right hand on the strap, left arm out to the side. Reach out as wide as you can. Breathe in and exhale, gently guide with a pointed ankle, the leg across the line of the hip, keeping nice and stable and even in your hips. Lengthen the ankle joint. Shoulders away from ears continually as well in these stretches. Just feel that you're sort of guiding this outside of the leg to stretch. A lot of people feel tension in the inner thighs on this stretch or hamstrings. It usually means there's misalignment. So turn it out gently if you need to, just to feel that you isolate your stretch in the outside of the hip. Okay, now breathe in and exhale. Bring it back to center. Yep. Release the strap. Okay, take an in-breath there. Exhale, bring both knees into a bent position.